What's going on guys? Andre Hakel Jr. here back with another student spotlight interview for Client Ascension. I'm here with my good friend and star student, again, star student, Matt Lucero. And the reason I say that is just because Matt's been in the community for uh, maybe a couple of months. We'll talk more about when he joined and how he joined and why he joined. Um, but he has been the most active student and we even joke about it. He's sometimes even more active than some of our team members. So Matt, welcome to the show and I'm excited to learn more about who you, who you are and what you're all about. Yeah, I appreciate you having me on. Awesome, man. Yeah, so let's get us started with, uh, tell us a little bit about yourself. Who are you and what are you currently working on? Yeah, my name is Matt. I'm 21 years old. Um, I recently dropped out of college to kind of go all in on this agency stuff. Right now, I'm trying to build up my agency in Evo Marketing. We do lead generation for B2B companies on a pay-per-show basis, so only paying for the meetings that show up. And yeah, we, we use cold email as kind of like the foundation of uh, you know our service delivery. So cool, man. So basically, you dropped out of school, replaced your education with a program coaching community like Client Ascension. Tell us a little bit about like how did you hear about Client Ascension in the first place? Yeah, so I think I was just, um, I joined, I was like looking to drop out of college just because I was super like fed up. It, it almost just feels like a disgrace how poorly structured some of the classes are, how irrelevant they are to basically like the real world. So I was looking for different ways. I've kind of been toying around doing online business stuff. I joined a couple other coaching programs in the past and have learned a ton. And I was just looking for something to really take me to the next level. And I stumbled upon, I think Daniel's first YouTube video um, where he kind of went over his story, hopped on a coach or um, a discovery call with Jay, one of the sales guys in Client Ascension, and then ended up like a few months down the road um, getting into the program. But yeah, I found Daniel Cold Email Wizard from YouTube, actually. I wasn't on Twitter at all, even though oh, that's wow. where he is. So yeah, I, I didn't start a Twitter account until like joining Client Ascension. So a lot of it's still Yo, what? Like, yeah you might be like the first person i've interviewed that has that story of like you didn't find us through twitter you actually found us through youtube which is cool because this video uh, if you're watching this you're seeing it on youtube not twitter um so it's just cool the different reaches there are out there uh and so i guess what was your decision like what clicked for you that made you decide like i need to join this program specifically because like you said you've been in other coaching programs and Obviously, client ascension is not the only one out there for agency owners. Yeah, so I actually I was only really in one other coaching program. It was at the end of like the the couple months that I was in there, so I was just looking for something to kind of like take everything to the next level. And it looked like out of every other program, you guys had like a full extensive. I, it almost is comparable to college, is what I see. It is almost like a replacement because you guys have a structure where you have basically someone in every different, you know, different facet of running an agency to help you like A to Z. So you have a sales guy, you have a guy who does lead gen, you have a guy that does offers, you have a guy that does basically everything you could possibly think of. And it's like, man, this seems like it's the whole package. Like it's not just one problem that you're fixing, you're fixing like the whole solution. So yeah, man. Yeah, and that, there's lots of problems, right? It's not just you, you have one problem that needs to get solved and everything changes in the business. Like, you know very well that an agency has to do lead generation very well. They have to do sales very well. And they have to do fulfillment very well. And there's micro topics and micro problems that exist within each of those categories. So maybe talk about what your biggest problem was or what you struggled with most early on before joining Client Ascension and, and how you went about solving it. Yeah, the, the biggest problem, there's two things I'll touch on is number one, like the biggest problem going into client ascension was actually just making like an offer that got people on the phone that got people like interested in the first <laughs> place. And it was something that could like, actually stand out between the other people in the market. So that was like the biggest thing that was the biggest like value that I got straight away after joining was just crafting something that people actually wanted. Because I've done lead gen, I've done cold email in the past. But it's a million times easier when you actually have something that people want. I feel like that's the biggest thing people kind of like gloss over. It's like you get lost in all the different tactics, but then if you're selling something that people don't want. It just makes everything way harder. It's like the biggest friction point. And then another piece of something that I really like learned in Client Ascension that I didn't think was that big of a deal was like sales. I didn't think that like, oh, I was that bad at sales. I was like, I can just kind of figure this out. You know, I'll just get on the phone. If I get on the phone with enough people, I'll close them. But um, the sales training, David Jacobs specifically, awesome dude, phenomenal sales trainer, has really like leveled up my sales game and has taken it to a level where I can get on the phone, 
you know, as a 21 year old in his bedroom with someone who runs a company that's doing hundreds of thousands of dollars a month and like make a compelling case and close them. So I, that, that was like one of the things that really stood out that I wasn't intentionally coming in for, but it's like really excelled me as like an agency owner. Yeah. And I think those two things go together, right? Like to be good at sales, you have to have a lot of confidence in what you're selling. And so the fact that you went through the offer creation and refinement process first to come up with something that people actually want and that you're super confident in really helps uh, on the sales side of things to show up in, in a way that, you know, with conviction and, and that rubs off on people and it helps to close deals. So now that you've solved both those issues, you've crafted an offer that people actually want and you're actually uh, really competent on the phone and, and pretty good at sales. What have the results been like since like, what is your agency looking like these days? Yeah. So since, you know, like when I started out, my offer was just, I, I literally had one client going in. I had like basically someone that I used to work for. I just signed them on as like the first person I work with and my offer was a mess. So now I have like a dialed offer. I think in January, I haven't tallied it up in February here, but in January I booked like 33 sales calls and like the months prior I had like next to none. So I worked 33 sales calls. I've closed a handful of deals. I've closed some like bigger clients, like actually established businesses, not just solopreneurs with, you know, one to two people, like actually established businesses, help them get results. Um, one of the clients that I've been working with, they just closed the 48K deal off of one of the leads I've gotten them. So they're getting good results. They're happy. So things have really just been like up. And even though I'm still just getting started, I feel like there's, um, there's a lot of wins that have already happened in such a short period of time. And I'm just like ready to keep blowing this up. Yeah. And there's one thing that I want the audience to to go back and listen for is something you said about wins and client results is you categorize wins not as here's how much money i've made or here much here's how much clients i've signed it was the win that you captured specifically was one of my clients signed a forty eight thousand dollar deal and that's so important is because you care more about your clients getting results than your results specifically or at least you've come to the point where you now know that clients getting results means you're also getting results you're also getting paid and i think that just mindset and understanding is what a lot of younger guys miss because they're just chasing the money. They're chasing the sales and the closed deals without really thinking twice about what's going to happen on the back end with fulfillment and, and the actual service delivery. And so that's what gives me a lot of conviction in you going really far with this. So good on you for that. Um, next question on, on my list here is just what's one piece of advice that you have for other students within client ascension. Again, going back to how I opened up this interview, you're really a star student. You're more active than any other student in the program. You show up to all the coaching calls. You involve yourself in tons of conversations that's happening around the community. You soak in all the content in the learning platform. What would you say to someone uh, just joining the program or even yourself when you first joined the program? What would you tell yourself? Yeah, I would say like a handful of things. The first thing I would say is like, you know, if you're paying to join a program, the first thing you should do is take the advice of the people you're paying for. Like if you're paying this money to go and get a bunch of experts advice, they're spending all the time, effort, dedication to try and get you good results. And they're way ahead of like in the position that you want to be in, then take their advice. Because I see I feel like a lot of people uh, immediately someone gives them some new piece of advice they weren't ready to hear and they're kind of resistant to it. But the first thing I would say is just like, be ready to have an open mind and actually implement what people are telling you to do because that's the whole point of being coached. Uh, another point that I would say is like, don't be afraid to reach out to other people. I'm like, I've developed so many friendships just with like shooting DMs with people I've seen in calls. I'm like, hey, your offer looks really cool. Let's chat. And just like connecting, networking. I've met up in person with two people from Client Ascension cool. already. And it, that was like an awesome experience, just kind of like networking in person. So I'd be like, don't be afraid to actually DM people in the community. Be sure to actually apply everything. Show up to the sales calls, ask questions. Um, and then the last thing I would say is, yeah, just be active in the community, have your name be around there. When people think um, of a service within the community, if you're active in the coaching calls, you're going to be the first person they think of. And there's a lot of people who take advantage of that in the community because they sell a unique service to agency owners and you're in a community full of agency owners. So I would say like 100% take advantage of that. 
Love it, dude. Yeah, you hit on all the things that I always uh, kind of coach new students through, especially that first piece is just taking our advice and running with it rather than questioning it. Questioning it. I feel like a lot of people uh, are hesitant to take action or implement some of the things that they learn, uh, maybe because of past experiences or maybe their ego is just getting in the way. And I get it. I mean, this is what happens really in any coaching program. But time and time again, the people that I talk to on these interviews and the students that Daniel talks to on his interviews, the most successful students in the program, that is, they take our advice, they take our strategies, and they implement them. And they come back to us and share the results, the feedback, and then we we tweak and we refine. And that's really the whole process, right? It's never going to be perfect. It's never going to be like, hitting a light switch and everything changing overnight. It's a constant process of refinement and improvement, which you uh, fully understand and and continue to do a really good job with. So uh, good stuff there. I guess one of my last questions here is like, what advice would you have for someone outside of client ascension, just in general, that's trying to start an agency business? Yeah. um, And, (laughs) <laughs> not a plug at all, but I would say a hundred percent join a coaching program. Like the number one, the, the idea of education, I think is the, you know, the idea of education being like one of the most powerful drivers and like disrupting people, allowing people to climb the socioeconomic ladder and like basically break the cycle, I think is totally true. And I think if you want to do something, the fastest way you can do something is surround yourself with like-minded people and surround yourself with people ahead of you because it's just going to accelerate the process. I would say like the the closest thing there is to a shortcut, I wouldn't say there really are many shortcuts, but the closest thing that there is is to surround yourself with people ahead of you. So I would suggest that. And then the second piece is just actually do the work. Like when I was starting out before I was in any coaching programs and even when I was in a prior coaching program, I was doing, you know, I was sitting in my room, I was thinking, oh man, I'm doing all this work. Why am I not getting results? But then when you zoom out and you look at like the tangible results that you did, like the KPIs, how many outreach messages did you send? How many tweets did you post? How many YouTube videos did you make? It didn't amount to much. So I would say like, keep yourself accountable with real KPIs and make sure you're constantly recentering yourself to do the things that push the needle forward in the business, like sales, lead gen, and like client fulfillment, because everything else can honestly be a distraction and take you away from like the actual important part of being an agency owner, which is driving sales and driving results for your clients. So I would say those are the two biggest things is join a program, join or be, take consulting lessons from people ahead of you, and then actually just like do work. I, there's, I can't really think of a better way of saying it, but just like make sure you're actually doing real actions, not just sitting in your head all day, like thinking about what to do. Yeah, or reading about it or even watching this video. So if you're watching this video, now is the time to hop off and, and put this stuff into action and get to work. Um, but it's always nice to have that balance. So Matt, thanks so much for sharing your wisdom and knowledge and your experience with the Client Ascension program and just your agency journey overall. Uh, it's super early on, but like I said, you've just shown really good signs that you're going to take this thing really far. Um, and so it's really cool for people to have the opportunity to learn from you uh, and hear what's worked for you in, in your business. So as a final question to wrap this up, where can my audience find you, follow you and learn more about maybe even uh, working with you? Yeah, so if you wanna follow my stuff, so I am making content, I have a YouTube channel, it's at Matthew Lucero on YouTube. I post stuff about cold email and sales related stuff. I also have a Twitter, Matt underscore Lucero um, that I, that I've been posting pretty ac- or pretty actively on. And then if you're considering you want more leads, you're on a B2B business, and you're looking to really take things to the next level and only pay for the meetings that actually show up to the call, no retainers, no nothing, then you can check out my website. It's anevomarketing.com, A-N-E-V-O marketing.com. And then you can hop on a call, see if it makes sense for us to work together, and then we can move forward from there. But yeah, it was awesome having this conversation. Um, really awesome, appreciate man. your time. Yeah, like I said, dude, super impressed. You're very well spoken. You're on a path to tons of success. So I'm excited to do another one of these, maybe even just a year down the road to see all the progress you've made and all the people uh, you've helped. So, And if you're watching this, thank you so much for the support. We really appreciate it. If you're a client ascension student already, we love you. If not, check out the program. 
we're always uh, excited to welcome new people in and uh, help you through your own agency journey. All right. Thanks so much. We'll see you on the next one.